in the space of science and massive special bits of knowledge. The subject of what existed early on to the tremendous effect has mixed discussions and interested characters for a long time. This Goliath demand doesn't simply test how we could unravel the universe. It challenges the authentic farthest goals of human knowledge. Envision remaining at the edge of existence, looking at the colossal shadowing and considering what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The occurrence of the enormous detonation marked the start of history, space, and what we know. In any case, there was a moment sooner ahead of time. This may have ultimately been a state of nothingness, a quiet before the lofty gathering began. And if this is true, was it? Or maybe there was something altogether more disturbing that existed before time itself. As we jump further into this solicitation, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's early phase into contemplations that challenge our care. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his commitment to the marvels of the universe, suggests that something stunning could have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to reconsider our reasoning of the authentic world and existence. In this assessment, we'll explore the science, the hypothesis, and the surprising insider facts that could figure out what existed prior to all that. We'll investigate thoughts like genuine improvement, quantum changes, dark energy, and even the multiverse. The answers we've revealed may very well stun you, but they could also open new understandings of our situation in the universe. Intend to bounce deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still winds around the shadows, leaving researchers stunned and sometimes even steamed. We should examine what existed before the Big Bang and why these speculations challenge all that we thought we knew. To appreciate what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to take a look at what the Big Bang really was. The Big Bang, as researchers describe it, was the event when the universe became phenomenally hot and thick growing quickly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and vast forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot starting with systems fanning out from a starting point. In any event, what reason did this happen? Was there a time before this thick, hot beginning? As shown by the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was far too void or calm. Cosmic inflation suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and free, essentially like an amazing vacuum. In any case, the vacuum wasn't totally unfilled. It contained a colossal sum of energy that controlled the rapid expansion of space itself. This development, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it generally settled the justification for everything that would go on in a piece of continuous space. It extended at extraordinary rates until the expansion slowed down and the energy changed into matter particles and the forces we think of as the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it, from nowhere, encourage the universe? And why did it stop? Researchers believe that this limitless extension made patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Envision a texture broadening incessantly with less fuel, air bubbles forming. Each air pocket addresses a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are potentially incredible, huge bangs and an endless number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This enormous, mind-twisting reality challenges how we could interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is hypothetical, not real. However, according to our current understanding, even if you eliminate all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and various forces that make up a particular woven tapestry of something. Indeed, even in its most empty form, whether or not we envision stripping away these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still create new types of energy. This, in essence, is reality and it is confounding to researchers as it suggests that true nothingness may be impossible within our vast understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that keep it from being totally unfilled. Envision creating a region with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no negative energy, except quantum fields and immense constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For example, 
There's an idea called zero-point energy, which addresses the most inconceivable energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still show up and disperse, creating a terrible reverberation of progress even in what should be void space. This challenges what we would call a real void and proposes that even before the Big Bang, there was something. Investigators are still beginning to appreciate this. Possibly one of the most surprising hypotheses in current cosmology is the possibility of undying development. If inflation can make our universe, it's conceivable it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes a remarkably vast inflationary multiverse where universes are incomprehensibly created and grow. Envision each Big Bang as a flash lighting another universe, while inflation occurs in different regions, making countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, happen forever. This thought of titanic universes siring others leads to a captivating idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe may indeed make its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as an alternate, independent space, unaffected by the others. Considering the rapid development of space, for scientists, this theory is both thrilling and disturbing, as it suggests an endless multiverse with no clear beginning or end. Envision our universe being only a small part of a massive, limitless arrangement, continually generating and continuously creating new universes. What if that is the true nature of reality? There is no before or after, but perhaps an undying pattern of universes forming. How we interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't simply a blend of matter floating in space. Instead, it's a complex association of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to make all that we notice. These fields are like elusive oceans, with part particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still dynamic. Particles can appear and vanish in these fields instantly, gaining energy before returning it. This characteristic leads to virtual particles, substances that briefly exist and then disappear, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The possibility of virtual particles challenge the credibility of a genuine void. Envision an unfilled universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are taken out. Would you have, in reality, nothing? As per the quantum field hypothesis, you wouldn't even in a vacuum. Fields would remain dynamic, once in a while making transient particles. This consistent improvement in the thing ought to not be anything. It suggests that the universe doesn't withstand by our idea of vacancy. The fields and powers get through, filling the universe with private energy that forestalls outright nothing. This getting it brings up an intriguing issue. If fields make particles and particles make matter, could the genuine universe have emerged from this nothingness, loaded up with quantum fields? Dark energy is an odd force that as of now drives the accelerated extension of our universe. Anyway, did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? As indicated by certain points of view, the way that dark energy exists today is a delayed consequence of an energy field from before our universe's advancement. The properties of dark energy definitely imply that monster mysterious force could have existed in some structure before the Big Bang. Some hypotheses suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing fast development. The presence of dark energy suggests that whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this power would continue to foster the outer layer of space-time. This thought prompts a disturbing solicitation. If dark energy was available before the Big Bang, might it at some point have at last formed the conditions that prompted the introduction of our universe? Might dark energy at some point be the calm draftsman of expansion, or even the valid start of our universe? As we explore this chance, we face the capability of dark energy, not just as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could open the mysteries of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis is that cyclic cosmology offers another option to the Big Bang as a conclusive starting. This hypothesis proposes that the universe goes through tremendous patterns of birth, passing, demise, and restoration. In this model, the Big Bang is definitely not a one-time event, but may be part of an undying cycle where universes foster independently and then recuperate in another cycle. 
This hypothesis suggests that our universe could have been re-established from the leftovers of a previous universe. The course of pressure and extension in a cyclic example would really intend that there was never a genuine start, but rather a timeless series of universes arising, making and re-establishing themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions, no better time than right now, as it suggests that time itself could rehash, as opposed to continuing. On the off chance that this hypothesis is right, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was basically another type of the universe, one that fell exclusively to bring forth our current universe. For researchers, this hypothesis offers a rich response to the subject of outrageous beginnings, suggesting that there is no unmistakable starting. The universe has continuously existed in some structure, rising above our considerations of time and presence. Gravitational waves are another fascinating thought that could reveal insight on what existed before the Big Bang. These waves, found in 2015, are grows in space-time brought about by amazingly enormous objects like black holes or impacting neutron stars. These waves can travel significant distances, conveying data about the events that made them. Could gravitational waves give data about the introduction of the universe? A couple of physicists propose that gravitational waves coming from the time before the Big Bang might give knowledge into the condition of the universe before expansion began. Gravitational waves from the early universe may leave pieces of information that could help comprehend whether the Big Bang was genuinely the starting, or whether there were inestimable occasions before that we don't yet grasp. These waves could be follows abandoned by events past our standard understanding. Their presence could likewise indicate a more fabulous construction past the one we are aware of. These weak signals could open bits of information that could change our perspective, similarly as we found the Big Bang start. Imagine a scenario in which they show the slight hints of a past universe or an event that occurred prior to the Big Bang. As researchers continue to investigate the profound compasses of space, the inquiry remains. What existed prior to the Big Bang? With current hypotheses highlighting quantum mechanics, multiverses, and an estimable expansion, it appears we are closer than ever to revealing the profound secrets of the universe's origins. While the complete response remains tricky, our comprehension of what existed before the Big Bang continues to grow with each discovery. As we investigate these hypotheses, we can likewise consider how they may fit together to show the 10,000-foot view, the real essence of presence itself. However, up to that point, we are left with the mystery driving science and meandering into obscure places a long way past what we have yet known. We continue to dive into the secrets of what existed before the Big Bang. Obviously, our comprehension of the universe is continually developing. One critical area of investigation involves the relationship among existence itself and time. As we experience it, time may not have existed in the manner in which we figure out it before the Big Bang. A few hypotheses propose that time, as an aspect, began with the Big Bang making it difficult to track what preceded. This thought difficulties our crucial view of presence, suggesting that the topic of before may not actually be significant with regards to the universe's origins. Moreover, later progress in the investigation of quantum mechanics have sparked novel thoughts about the nature of reality. One especially charming idea is the possibility of a quantum vacuum, a state where, even in the non-appearance of issue, the universe isn't genuinely unfilled. Rather, it is loaded up with fluctuating energy fields, which can give rise to particles and forces. These quantum changes could have played an essential role in the arrangement of the universe, as they might have provided the essential circumstances for the Big Bang to happen. This brings up the issue of whether the universe might have risen up out of a quantum variance, or whether it was somehow set off by these changes. Another intriguing part of pre-Big Bang hypothesis revolves around the idea of astronomical recycling in cyclic cosmology. The universe goes through an endless series of developments and constrictions. Later, each Big Bang, the universe would eventually contract once more into a singularity before growing. This repeating system could actually imply that the present status of the universe is basically the most recent cycle in an interminable series of vast births and passings. A few scholars propose that each cycle could prompt marginally different results, with the ongoing design of the universe being shaped by the states of the past cycle. This thought difficulties the idea of a solitary beginning, 
suggesting rather that the universe is in a consistent condition of rejuvenation. The chance of various dimensions likewise adds one more layer of intricacy to how we might interpret what preceded the Big Bang. String theory, for instance, proposes the existence of extra dimensions beyond the recognizable three components of space and one component of time. These extra dimensions could provide a completely new framework for understanding the universe's beginnings. In this model, the Big Bang might have been the aftereffect of connections between these higher dimensional spaces, where the breakdown of a higher dimensional structure led to the introduction of our three dimensional universe. If true, this theory wouldn't just provide insight into what existed before the Big Bang, but also open up a totally new range of possibilities for how the universe functions on the most fundamental level. As we approach the cutoff points of current scientific understanding, obviously there is still much to reveal. The journey to answer the question of what preceded the Big Bang is continuous, with researchers pushing the limits of what is conceivable through advancements in technology, new speculations, and discoveries. We may one day draw nearer to disentangling the definitive origins of our universe, offering a more profound understanding of the forces that shaped all that we know. Up to that point, these inquiries will continue to inspire amazement and wonder, testing us to think beyond the known and explore the limitless possibilities of existence.